There he is. Congratulations. First and foremost, uh, take us through it. You put pen to paper. What's your reaction? What's going through your head? Yeah, pretty crazy, obviously. Uh, thank you for that. But, uh, yeah, it's been a crazy couple days, obviously. Um, that's pretty well the rest of my career. So um, I think a lot of it came down to is uh, I want to start a family. That's what's going to happen in those eight years. A lot more goes into it than you think when, when the talks start to happen, but uh, couldn't be happier, obviously, a place like Tampa. I mean, uh, wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Yeah, congratulations. It's certainly well-deserved. Uh, they were somebody, you were somebody that they, that they actively sought to get at the, at the deadline, and when you went there, the production obviously wasn't where you would have wanted it to be, and then you go and have a summer and you come back and have a, a year like last year, which was just incredible, and they obviously uh, award you with the contract deservedly. Uh, what kind of happened? Was it just, you know, I, I've been traded before and so, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Is, is it just the summer to kind of get comfortable, get used to the guys, get settled into Tampa? What, what do you think changed over that summer for you to have the season that you had? Yeah, I think obviously coming in the, the first year, it, was, uh, it wasn't easy. These guys just won uh, two Stanley Cups in a row and then you come in knowing that you just uh, were given they gave this much up to get you, and uh, obviously it's my first time tra being traded in my career. I spent four years in junior in the same spot. Uh, I never went through that. Um, I was just starting to call Chicago home. I mean, I've only been in the NHL for a year and a half, got comfortable there, and all of a sudden it's gone. And you don't know what to expect, And um, but at the end of the day, it was kind of come in, do what you possibly can, uh, the best you possibly can. And, um, they want you here for a reason. It didn't work out. Um, I mean, it, it worked out in the end. I felt a little bit more comfortable, but you're staying in a hotel, not a place you're comfortable with, um, getting to know the city, not sure where to go eat dinner. I think all those play factors, but at the end of the day, um, I knew I needed to go into the summer and um, prove something and uh, prove to the world why they actually got me and um, what I can do for this team. And uh, I came back and ended up having a really good year and um, obviously rewarded today with that. Yeah, you proved it. And, uh, and now it seems like you're comfortable in settling into your uh, your current home and your long-term home down there in Tampa. What What's the dynamic of that dressing room like when you first came into it to where it's at coming into this season? Take us inside that. Who are some of the vocal leaders, maybe some of the silent leaders, the funny guys? what is the dynamic like inside that room yeah I think it's really good I think um, over the years I think obviously these guys have it pretty dialed in especially Stammer he's one of the best captains to go around this guy has a voice but he also knows how when to have fun and how to have fun and um, no matter what if the guys are gonna go do something he's a captain you know he, he needs to be there and he's gonna be there if something's being set up he'll never miss that stuff and I think that's what you need from a leader because yeah it is a business and um, but there is time to have fun and come together as a group. And I think that's that's a big part of this team. I think um, just with those veteran guys that we had with Patty, Perry, um, Stammer, Hetty. I mean, these guys have been in the league for so long, having to do these things for so long. And you see at some points they kind of fade off a little bit like, uh, well, I've kind of I've kind of done that. But uh, they're right there with you. Um, they're going to have some fun with you if that that time is there. But also when it's business time, these guys are going to, step up say a word and everyone in this locker room has a has a voice and that's something that really um stuck with me and i i i think that's why there's so much success in in this dressing room yeah that's great to hear not surprising either you don't have that much success uh without great leaders uh 25th birthday coming up here did uh, plans change after the big ticket got signed or are you uh keeping it low uh yeah i mean i think i'll i sh Probably should keep it low, but uh, I mean, Vegas isn't off the table, I don't think. Ooh, I like that. We'll have to see how that plays out. Aside from the birthday coming up and the contract uh, coming out earlier today, what's the best non-hockey related thing you did over the uh, course of the offseason the last couple of weeks? Uh, I didn't get up to too much, to be honest. I've kind of just been um, laying low. I got back to Tampa actually three weeks ago. It's nice. You get... Uh, I mean, already we have 15, uh, about 15 guys already in town. So um, it's nice to kind of get back, hang out. You're golfing with your, your buddies, um, getting back to kind of that routine and seeing everyone the same. I think everyone's just excited to get back. Everyone had a long or short, short summer for the last two years. And now we're, uh, I think a lot of guys are excited to get back. I think that break really helped a lot of guys and um, the reason to why everyone's back so early. You mentioned that, that short offseason the last couple of years and make no mistake you guys went to three straight Stanley Cup finals 
nobody on the team was going to admit it, but did you see maybe last year some of the fatigue on some of these guys? I mean, just they went to war so many times, so deep into the summer that it was just like it was almost surprising that they could continue to do it year after year. How, how do you think a full off season of just rest and kind of recharging the batteries helps this team, yourself included, going into this season again? Yeah, I think obviously I I can't speak too much for them, but I know I did it one year and I couldn't imagine doing it three straight years. I mean, um, especially it was times were different and um, things were starting up randomly and um, summers were really short then. I mean, now last year, I don't think we got home till July 15th or something like that, where it was done a little bit earlier this year. So they've, they kind of dealt with that, uh, maybe even a little shorter, but at the end of the day, I mean, I did it once and I can tell, I, I, I can only imagine how these guys are feeling for those last three years. I think it's it's a really good thing for us. Obviously not the outcome we wanted. We never sat there and said, oh, we're tired and we want to want a long summer. We, we we tried to do it again. We wanted to do it again. We thought we had the group to do it again. But at the end of the day, I mean, um, did that play factor? Of course, maybe a little bit, but uh, there's going to be no excuses. But I think um, if you look at the big picture, I think these guys probably needed a nice rest and uh, I think that's why everyone's so excited to get back because we know we're still going to be a really good team moving forward. Uh, fellow Saskatchewan boy here. I was only born there but they still claim me as their own. Do you uh, spend the time in the summer up in Saskatoon still uh, and uh, is your family still up there? No, actually, I mean, uh, the reason, you, the way you said that too, I mean, I was just born there myself. I think I was there until I was like one or two years old. But they'll still um, claim you though. Yeah, they still play me, I'm, I'm, and I'm going to stick with it yeah. because uh, it maybe intimidates people sometimes. But um, no, uh, I I go back there quite a bit actually. I'm down there um, at least for a week or week or two in the summer, and uh, try my entire family's still down there from grandparents right down to aunts and uncles. So I get out there lots, but uh, spend most of my time in the Edmonton area. That's kind of where I grew up in Morinville, just uh, probably about 30 minutes from Edmonton. At the start of this uh, interview, you talked about kind of coming in at the trade deadline and, you know, uncomfortable, not knowing where to eat and stuff. Now that you are comfortable, what's your favorite place to eat in the Tampa area? What do you got? Oh, good, uh, good question. Kind of puts me on the spot. Honestly, this place is growing in, in cred. Like, it's, it's insane. I think I moved in my apartment uh, when I, the year after I got traded, and I think there's probably seven to ten restaurants that opened up below me uh, and around me so it's it's growing and this place is going to be um, one of the best places to live in the world to be honest I mean um, but if I could pick one spot I would I'll just think of something that's off the top of my head I would go with some panos that's uh, Ooh, in, uh but. all right you a burn steakhouse guy down there yeah that's a good spot too yeah, that's an experience uh, up there in the dessert room <laughs> Yeah, you, you bring family there, kind of treat them with a little bit of experience. I think that's 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 a good spot for that. Awesome. Well, uh, it's a good spot for you, and you're locked into the eight-year contract starting next year, deservedly so. Uh, congratulations. Thanks so much for the time. We look forward to seeing you back on the ice coming up in a couple of weeks here.